got to film this before I forget it. Switch off. It's like a goodbye jingle. Welcome back, everyone. This is the 2020 Hyundai Veloster in. And it's in red. It's just so gorgeous. Look at it, man. We're going to walk around this together. I actually have help with my camera setup. So this is going to be incredible. We're going to walk around it together. It's wrapped in Pirelli P0s. That Italian stuff. It's definitely front wheel drive, as you can see right here. Uh, there's a lot of <laughs> a lot of usage, but don't get it twisted. It's still a really phenomenal performing and handling car. We go over here. The this is not mine. Obviously, the owner has a couple of modifications. The first obvious one being mud flaps because you know you want to keep your car as clean as humanly possible. It's not because it's a rally car. A lot of people get that misconstrued because the Subarus have little mud flaps. Because I mean. You know Subaru <sighs> but as we walk around it you'll see that it's not like a normal Veloster you'll have side skirts from the factory that say in on them it's like the beginning of side skirts get it in begin anyway stock wheels and I am not sure if this is the stock ride height it actually looks a little lower the owner did not tell me anything about that, but I'm going to assume it's at least on springs. And uh, yeah, that's pretty, it's a pretty stellar setup. Let's see if it's staggered. 235, 35, 19s in the back. And it's got, yeah, 235, 35, 19s in the front. So it's running a squared setup. Tire changes and rotations are that much more easier. Let's continue walking around. This is not real carbon fiber, folks. Don't get it twisted if you want to get a little close up of that. It's actually like a sticker for real, but I'm not going to take it off <laughs> or a cover or something. Hey, I'm not hating the game. If you like carbon fiber or quote unquote carbon fiber, then that's on you. It actually took me a while to um, find out how to open this hatch. And just so you guys know, I love hatchbacks. I almost got one instead of my 2011 Lexus, but I was conflicted. So uh, how to open it, it's actually not under here where most cars would be, or like even under here where it actually unhinges. It's under the freaking wiper blade. So I'm like, well, how do you open this thing? Or is it under the wing or what? I don't know. But anyway, it's here. It's soft open. It does not soft close. It does not auto close. Plenty of space. Here's another modification right now. A JL Audio subwoofer. It makes this car go boom. You know what else makes this car go boom? These bad boys. Borla Catback Exhaust. It makes it sound meaty, I'm sure. You know what? We're going to do driving impressions, so you'll be able to hear that. And I will also allow you to hear it right now. Oh, yeah. I want to point this out too. The brakes, they're just normal st steel brakes with, uh, I mean, they're just normal rotors and pads. Um, actually, these are definitely sport pads because it stops that much more easier and it doesn't show any immediate signs of fading. Hyundai did a really good job on these for sure. Now I get to show you guys the interior. Ugh. And I want to point this out too. I want to see if uh, I just I just really like this third brake design. It's almost like an F1 inspired like fourth brake line light that would normally be here, but it's like F1 flipped upside down, and it just looks really awesome to me. Um, honestly, let me see if it does the triple blink when I do the brakes. Did it even light up? You guys probably want to see the engine as well. So if you follow me. We will look at it. It's 
toasty under here, man. Four cylinder turbo DCT Korean style. It has probably 5,000 horsepower, 4,000 pound feet of torque. I'm obviously being facetious. Look up your own specs, people. But this is glorious. And it makes swishy noises as well. <laughs> it's <laughs> now I get to show you guys the interior. The first thing, like, I'll, just give me one second. All right. I'm about to blow y'all's mind. Only BMW does this, to my knowledge. Maybe Mercedes, too. But if you come over here and look inside, look at the N logo on the seats. They're glowing, dude. Look. Are you close enough? Look, it's glowing. And these seatbelts, though. Light. Oh, yeah. Just like the 80s, it has a seatbelt, like, Older. It's not automated, so you have to do it manually to get your seatbelt. Um, it's just to help keep things out of the way. And for if for whatever reason you have a passenger going through the driver's side, which is wrong, I will show you in just a second. You can, you know, push this back and they can, you know, do your seat. They can hop on back there like a normal coupe. But since this is not a normal coupe, if you follow me, and if you didn't notice for whatever reason, I mean, I'm sure you saw other YouTube videos. Um, just look at it from here. I mean, did, did you catch it? It has three doors, man. So this is a door. That's a door. And this is a door. How convenient is that? That's like genius. That is wild. And so since you have three doors, let's go back on the driver's side. You have three window buttons. That's really odd to me. I've never seen that in my entire life. Anyway, the color of in stuff is the sky blue, as you can probably see. Even here on the steering wheel, you'll see the drive modes and the checkered flag. This is for a personal mode. Let me turn the power steering on. Oh, uh, I got to turn the whole car on for that. No, thanks. Different drive modes. Eh, fine. Let me turn on the car for a second. This car has different drive modes. The main three are normal, eco, and sport. When I was tearing it up, I was in sport mode, of course. Eco, it just lowers your throttle response, really. But if you really need to get going, mash down the, on the throttle, you'll still be good to go. Normal, it's normal. Anyway, you also have different items here. Here's your setup menu. Everything that you can customize to your liking. Doodle doo, dali da. All this good stuff. Media. Oh yeah, sounds of nature. You can also do Apple CarPlay. Oh, oh wow. This actually has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And regular Bluetooth as well. I'm not going to demonstrate that. You guys should know how it works. I will say that it is wired Apple CarPlay, not wireless. So yeah, if you're into that, it's whatever. Everything here, okay, nature sounds, go away. Everything here is plasticky and whatnot. This is definitely Hyundai, Kia quality right here. Everything is still pretty solid, though. I really don't have any complaints. No garage door opener. But they got the sunglass. Come on, man. I love it when cars do like, I love it when companies do this. This is awesome. Check out the sun visors. Oh, this is strange. Normally when you open the visors and the mirrors, light would automatically turn on by itself. But I guess it's not luxurious, luxurious enough to do that. So you have to do it manually. That's like a three-step process. Like open, one, two, Three. Automatic climate controls. I believe this has heated seats, but I have not been able to figure it out. I'm going to go through the menu one more time to confirm because maybe it doesn't have heated seats. I know it does not have ventilated seats. That is for sure. Speaking of Blue Link, you can use this to remote start your car anywhere in the world using your mobile phone. How exciting is that? Technology, man. Yeah, so I give up finding heated seat controls. This also has blind spot monitoring. 
and it will also keep you in your lane lane assistance it will literally tug and drive for you if you so choose nobody likes that no so we're gonna keep that off if you check out the back it's actually pretty roomy in here it's still got the same color theme going on the black and the sky blue for the inn and yeah it's nothing too crazy oh wait also um this is worth pointing out it doesn't have a middle seat as you can see there are only two seat belts in there so um if you want to have five people in this car forget it or maybe he or she can be in the trunk this car is just over thirty thousand dollars new i also wanted to point at this point this out too it does not have automatic seats or powered seats as they call them everything is manual obviously to save weight and that's just the name of the game sports car life baby the backup cam is so tucked away and hidden you wouldn't even know what's here. That's incredible. This splitter though, this is definitely factory. I like it. It probably doesn't serve real much of a purpose, but it still looks clean. Just like some manufacturers, you have the fake vents. No, you can't do anything with these unless you know you want to. They're fake, they're not functional. 2020 Hyundai Veloster N driving impressions.